UK since it has returned back from Dubai. Could be wrong. Anyway, before we get on to the topic of this video, I'm just gonna drop this down into uh, wet because it's actually snowing outside. So uh, when I started this video, or should I say, when I got the car out, uh, it absolutely was not snowing. So it is what it is. Welcome to February in the UK. Anyway, before we get this video going, a little bit of housekeeping for you guys that will hopefully make the Mr. JWW experience even better for you. Uh, regularly, I get messages from people that watch the channel who are subscribers saying, I've seen you've dropped some new content and I haven't had any notification about it. Um, recently, YouTube has been going through all sorts of algorithm changes and if you've seen in the news generally, things behind the scenes at YouTube are changing. And I think as part of that, sometimes notifications either don't get sent or might get slipped through the net. So, if you go onto my channel, there's a little bell. If you click that, you will be able to get actively notified when new content goes live, and then you'll never miss a video again. Equally, if you're a regular watcher of this channel, and you've missed content, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because that's how you get alerts, and ultimately that's how this channel grows, and basically, that's my oxygen, and it makes my day, so I'm super thankful for everyone who has subbed, but if you haven't, hit that sub button, let's do this. Anyway, big time of the year. Next week, just around the corner, is the Geneva Motor Show. For me, it's one of my favorite shows of the entire year. It's great because it's quite early on in the year. It's the first week of March this year. And for me, it's the show that really sort of kickstarts the whole season. Now, the significance of this year is Ferrari are launching the successor to the very car we're driving right now. And it's called the 488 Pista. Now, make of that name what you will when it uh, was announced on social media just a few days ago. There's been all sorts of things going around and in my personal chat groups, people have been calling it the Pasta Wagon. So anyway, Ferrari are launching this brand new supercar, the lightweight focus driver's version of the 488 GTB called the 488 Pista. Um, and it follows the ethos and bloodline of a very successful line of lightweight focus driver's cars from Ferrari that sort of started to gain real traction around the time of the uh, Ferrari 360 Ardenna. They applied the same ethos to the car that became known as the Challenge Stradale. It was lighter weight, more power, just a more focused driver's car. Then they did the 430 Scuderia, same ethos. This came along, which is the lightweight version of the 458 Italia, the 458 Speciale, and now we have the 488 Pista. Will I be going for one? is exactly why we're having this conversation. Now, since this car launched, a lot has changed. Um, the world is basically going turbocharged. I sort of mean the world of supercars. So when this car launched, the speculation was, will this be the last of the naturally aspirated V8s from Ferrari? And when it launched, no one was really sure, but it transpired that in fact, yes, it is. And so first of all, we're talking here really more a little bit about my personal position with this car. The thing is, there's so many factors here, there's so many variables. The first thing is, with this being the last of the naturally aspirated V8s, it is such a significant special car, not only for Ferrari's history, but for automotive history, because Ferrari themselves are such a big player within the supercar world space, that it really puts this car in such a unique area that I can't help but think that when we look back in future, this thing might have such a special place in history that if I did end up swapping it for the 488 Pista, I'd probably end up kicking myself. Now for those of you guys who have joined this channel uh, since I had my first 458 Speciale, let me give you a bit of background context. Uh, this channel launched with a Grigio Silverstone, aka a grey 458 Speciale, um, and I sort of ended up selling that car much earlier than it turned out I should have done because I missed it so much. Uh, I ended up filling that gap with a GT3 and then I ended up buying back another Speciale, which is the one we're in right now. So needless to say, this car has somewhat of a special place in my heart. That aside, we're talking about comparing cars here. Now, since that car launched, 
I've had so many comments and interactions on my Instagram and YouTube saying, are you gonna go for the 488 Pista? Well, let's continue the conversation. As I mentioned, the car world has changed and it's evolved massively towards turbocharged engines. Why I say that is because while I think, obviously, the 488 Pista is a very special car now, this is Ferrari's first generation of modern day turbocharged supercars. In, in years to come, it's going to be another turbocharged supercar. And then of course, since this car's launched, we have McLaren, who are a new player in this game, saying actually all of our cars are turbocharged supercars and look at the performance they're getting out of their sort of entry level cars i recently sold a mclaren 675 lt which the performance of that reconfigured my face it was absolutely incredible performance particularly on track in a straight line their entry level supercar the 570s was basically as fast and this is a car that's like 150 grand with some spec on it and they class as their sports car, not even their supercars, it's part of their sports series. Um, and so the world is going towards these turbocharged engines. Now, there's one thing about Ferrari that they do very well is they sort of sprinkle this emotion dust on their cars. It's an intangible quality that you almost can't put into words that they manage to to extract theatre from components that you wouldn't really imagine capable of doing so. Now, I'm hoping that they've done that with the 488 Pista because ultimately it's still a turbocharged car. And if you listen to the GT2 RS and even the McLaren 720S, they don't really sound that great. Okay, so that might be doing those cars an injustice. It's not that they don't sound that great, it's just that they don't sound that great compared to that. And that's the main point here. It's, would I swap the 458 Speciali for a 488 Pista? But actually, the biggest argument for me is the smiles per gallon thing that I often talk about. How fast can you really drive on the public road? I mean, all of these, like, a, a Porsche Cayman is too fast, right? These things are entering a world of speed when it comes to the context of the public road that it just doesn't matter anymore. Right? And so when you're predominantly a road driver, you have to think, what do you want out of a car? And I learned this lesson with the McLaren uh, 675LT and the 720S in bucket loads. It's like, yes, they're ballistically fast, but it seems to be at the detriment of emotion until you get it on a track, and then they're not actually track cars. So will the Pista be like that? This car, you can drive it relatively slowly, and it sounds like this. That's 40 miles an hour, by the way. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a good job as well, because the snow is really coming down right now. Um, I am actually in a blizzard. I'm not even joking. Really. It's, uh, I, can't, I can see about six feet in front of me. So, good time to do a video in the snow. So yes, comments below on that case, really. The whole theatre versus speed thing. I think this is where brands like Singer, the guys that reimagine classic 911s, Singer have got this fantastic balance of driver engagement versus speed. Don't get me wrong, they don't hang around, but that's not their primary focus. They're not showing you bullet point list of how fast they achieve their 0 to 60, 0 to 100 times. It's sold on emotion only. And this car, for me, was bought purely with the heart. There was very little, you know, thoughts about how fast is it. It wasn't about that at all. The funny thing is, now the Pista for me is turbocharged, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how will it compare to a 720? How will it compare to a 675LT? Let's face it, you can't give a quantified quality answer without driving the car, really experiencing it. My instinct right now suggests no. The fascinating thing was that I put up a picture and a question on my Instagram recently asking that exact question. Would you swap the 458 Speciali for a 488 Pista? The response to it was crazy. Several hundred comments, opinions, multiple chats, multiple threads within there, people chatting amongst themselves. And that was kind of what it inspired me really to make this video was the interest from you guys, the audience, as to that topic. 
Now, as I mentioned, Geneva next week is going to be the first time that I see that car in person, in reality. I'm going to lay my eyes on it, my camera on it, and share it with you guys firsthand to see how we feel, certainly about the aesthetics. Now, judging by photos, the aesthetic sculpture of it is very aero-driven. Uh, they've exaggerated even further that bonnet vent and scoop which the, the Speciale introduced is now really exaggerated. It dips right down and splits the front end of the bumper all the way down to the front splitter. And the rear wing looks like it's got this sort of floating, elevated, pitched rear wing section that I think is going to look so good in person. But a lot of the time, photography never really does the sculpture justice, so I'm super excited to be sharing that with you guys. Let's talk about the differences between these two cars. Well, most of all, it's power. The power of the 488 Pista is 710 brake horsepower. I mean, that's a significant jump from this car's the ground about 600 horsepower. So we've got over a hundred horsepower jump in power. So the performance is gonna be crazy because they both weigh similar amounts. I believe the piece that they've shaved about 80 kilograms of weight from that car. Uh, it's gonna be no slouch for sure. It's gonna be a phenomenal driving experience. Uh, but the engine differences are the things which kind of interest me the most. Now, engine on the Pista is actually downsized, so that's a 3.9 litre uh, V8, still flat plane crank V8, but it's a twin turbo. The engine on this is a beautiful, high revving, naturally aspirated 4.5 litre V8 uh, that revs to 9,000 RPM. The Pista revs to 8, and that's again comes back to the sort of thought and argument between theatre versus speed. And don't get me wrong, neither of these cars are slow, but I just hope the Pista has had that, as I mentioned, the Ferrari sprinkle, the magic dust that pulls on the heartstrings. Hopefully we'll get a chance to drive the 488 Pista when it launches. I'm super excited for it. And I don't know, will they have done it? Will they be the first brand to really make a sexy sounding, emotion filled supercar from a turbocharged engine? A modern day turbocharged engine. Let's face it, they did it with the F40 <laughs> in a big way. So maybe they could do it again with the 488 Pista. All of these things, let me know as well what else you want to see from Geneva. Uh, I've got some really great access to some special cars. Uh, and there's also a big announcement being made there, which I'm part of, which I'm very excited to share with you. Yeah, stay tuned. Epicness cometh. See you next time. Ciao.